Hi everyone, welcome back to Gido. Today we will show you how to replace cameras on the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE edition. To start, we need to have the right tools to proceed with the repair which you can find in the description. First, take out the SIM tray and then the back cover removal. To remove the back cover, it needs to hit gently around the back cover edges until the pasted adhesive becomes soft. For this, we are using a heating pad. Place the back cover side on the heating pad and select the mobile phone heating option and leave it till it completes. Alternatively, you can use a heat gun or hair dryer. Once the heating is completed, use a suction cup to create an opening between the frame and rear cover. Next, insert a plastic cut pry tool or something similar to cut the adhesive around the back cover. Next, take out the back cover and take out the mainboard frame with wireless coil by undoing screws. First, undo 9 screws and then using a pry tool lift the wireless coil by cutting the adhesive under it. While raising, be gentle. First, lift the frame and then disconnect the wireless coil and then the battery plug before taking out the pad and frame. Next, pull out the main logic board by undoing one screw and unplugging three antennas and the main flex cable. Then pull out the board by using a tweezer or pry tool. Galaxy S20 FE comes with three rear cameras and one front camera. First on the front side of the logic board, disconnect the broken front camera and then unplug the broken wide and ultra wide cameras. Next, disconnect the broken telephoto camera module on the rear side of the logic board. Next, replace the required broken camera with a new unit and place it on the logic board.
Next, connect the cameras back and secure the logic board by adding the screw. And then connect three antennas and the main flex cable into the logic board. Next, secure the battery connector and place the mainboard frame with the wireless coil to the body. Make sure the wireless coil plug connects with the body by pressing on top of it. And then secure 9 screws on the mainboard frame. Before installing the main back cover, make sure it has enough glue on it. If not, use B7000 glue or new double sided back cover adhesive. Finally, we are adding binding clips to tie in the rear car with the body. If not, you can use some rubber bands and leave them for some time. Hope you have enjoyed the replacement guide. Let us know if you have any questions. Please like, share and comment on our videos. Hit the subscribe button for more videos.